I feel like I've, I've worked with the really amazing women through the years. Even before SNL, I, I would feature open for my friend Whitney Cummings. I think SNL's made me a funnier person. It's helped me as a person to just work with people more because I came from stand-up where I was solo all the time. And then I got to that show and it's all about collaborative working together. Having that experience, now I'm gonna be doing that in my, the next things I do, next TV shows and movies. Like just being a team player, I don't, and I didn't have that before, I was a little brat. <laughs> and I have to learn how to share. So it was, uh, that was a great lesson there. And then in terms of my writing, I feel it's just gotten way better. I, I Even when I always felt like being there, I was like, man, I'm not a good writer. I'm not a good writer. But I, I can't be saying that because I, I really pick up and absorb it just by watching and learning from all the pieces I've co-written. Yeah, I really think it's gotten better. Man, I'm just, I'm just really grateful for it. And I feel blessed and honored that I got to experience it. I feel like the something I like to and share with other comedians in the industry and, and people in the industry is just to keep creating you and, and bringing joy to yourself because I think that underlining that in everything you feel it on the screen or when you're performing when you're having fun and you're you're really creating what makes you happy and light up the crowd feels it and by that with life experience and and trying out different fields of art, you know, and it's just expanding. I feel like that just, I do share that a lot. With, and that's what I share in my book too. Yeah. <laughs> I saw myself as Jim Carrey a lot. My dad showed me Ace Ventura, when Nature Calls, I saw that one first. And then I saw Pet Detective. So I thought it was, that was the first one. Oh but I remember being a kid and I was like, oh, that looks so fun. I really feel like him. Uh, and, you know, he did a lot of impressions early in the day, too, so I was really inspired by Jim Carrey and the goofiness. SNL, I mean, when I was a teenager, I was watching just the classics of, like, the when Sandler and Chris Farley and David Spade, that, that cast, I just, I wanted to hang out with them and laugh, and I, I could just feel their friendship through the screen, and I, and I just was so inspired by them in my teens. I think these days I get inspired by anyone, like a performance or even just out and about if I'm seeing a street performer or a musician playing or I, I think I get inspired by everything because there's talent everywhere. There's this book I have right now, it's a Shel Silverstein book, but not that everyone knows. I have this book called Shel Silverstein Around the World. It's so special because Hefner has him, he's like, Shell, I will pay for your travels around the world. All you have to do is just draw yourself in all these experiences that you have in each location. And so I'm just so inspired by that book and him because I'm like, oh, I feel like Shell. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm always solo. I'm always wandering alone doing comedy or drawing. And man, that book is good. I just, I, I and right now I'm in a place where I'm, I want to travel and expand and learn and open up. I'm not gonna learn anything if I just sit there at home. I will say, not until this last season of mine, the sixth season that I completed on SNL, I felt like I was the most empowered then. Because I think through the years of me being there, I shared a lot of impressions, celebrity impressions and singing impressions, and I've always done that. But last season was really special because I, I shared a character that was based on my Uncle C Caesar, and that one brought me the most joy because it was embracing my family, my Mexican family. And I had their photos, my brother, my tia Lola, my abuelita, and I was like, I can't believe I'm, they're here, they're in this segment. And I felt like that was when I was just, I think I'm just embracing everything more. I think when I got the show and they're like, oh, the first Latina, I was like, hey, no, don't pressure me. Cause I'm, you know, I'm second generation. I'm so Americanized and I'm like, oh God, I, I hope I'm good enough. You know, I hope I did a good job and I, I tried my best, but I think, I felt the most empowered last season, you know, and I and I did that that funny the the Chola girls with Selena Gomez, uh, that's that's sad, and that that was just a chick I heard at Target on New Year's Eve, you know, I was in the notebook section and on New Year's Eve I, every, you know, if you remember that day was a sad day because everyone found out Betty White passed away, and I was like, oh no, and then this chick next to me goes, oh Betty White died, that's sad. I was like, man, you don't sound sad. <laughs> That's sad. <laughs> but I, yeah, I think that was my, I felt like the most empowered because I was like, 
This is sharing LA, this is sharing my family, all of it. I think I'm really proud of the work I did on that show. When I play powerful women like Dolly Parton and Lady Gaga and J-Lo, I feel their confidence. Like that's the first thing I feel. I'm like, oh, I'm Gaga. Gaga would look like this, you know, or Dolly, you know, she's just so joyful. J-Lo, oof, confidence, you know? Just... Dolly was just like, well, I'm Dolly Parton. I'm gonna sing for you. Um, and Gaga, I, I just feel with those, I, my, cause sometimes I mumble when I feel low esteem or when I need to speak up for myself. But when I would get in those impressions, all that faded away and I and I felt like their confidence and, and their strength and their power. And that's something I, even when I'm on stage and I, I get into them, I morph into them, I, I feel better. So it's almost like this cool tool I have in the back of my pocket if I feel like low self-esteem Melissa, you know, I could hop into Gaga. <laughs> Sometimes in the morning I'll, I'll tell myself, you know, cause my voice could sound a little deadpan if I'm like, yeah, I'm really beautiful. It sounds, it doesn't sound that, but if I do it as Dolly, I am so beautiful, I am lovable, I am capable. I just feel the sun. I feel the sunshine beaming. My friend Marcela Arguello, she's really funny. You should follow her. She's another confident, she's another one. She fills me up with, it's just, and I, I'm like, oh, give me that, please. She's wonderful. I think the fancy side of things, red carpet stuff and everything, I just don't, that my, my heart's not in that place. I like the creative zone, the schmoozy stuff of Hollywood. I'm like, I wanna be home in my peaches and eating cream of wheat. <laughs> I wish for people to consider me for acting roles, for even romantic or indie comedy movies. I feel like I would love People say, hey, Melissa, I'm thinking of you for this role. I, I would like more, more of that universe. You hear me?